Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Shred Me Live. Tracy here. I'd love to see who's out there today ready for a little bit of a lower body focus workout today. We did upper body on Tuesday, so we're just offsetting that. Good morning, Manu. Good morning, good morning. So you are gonna need a heavy set of weights. Whatever the heaviest ones you got lying around. <laughs> Go ahead and find those. Good morning, Terry. Sounds good, Manu, sounds good. Catch you later. Good morning, Mary Jane. So a heavy set of weights. Don't be scared. Grab whatever you've got lying around. That's the heaviest you've got. And then um, a mat, because we will be doing a bit of bridge work and we will be hitting some push-ups today. Sound good? Awesome. Good morning, good morning. All right. I'll give it a couple more seconds here before we get started. I feel like I could use a little bit more light in this room, so let's change that up. Awesome. Hi, Mary Fran. Good morning. Good morning. A happy set of weights today, guys. All right. So for today's workout, like I mentioned on Tuesday, we are going to kind of flip it around and focus more on lower body. We will still be hitting um, a little bit of upper body in there so um and yeah don't be scared with those heavier weights i guess if you want a medium set nearby for the for the upper body stuff you can do that too but don't be scared with those heavier weights for both hey judy all right i think we're ready are we ready let's get warmed up all right I'm excited for this one. Some new stuff today. We're gonna start off with a squat here, guys. Sit it back. Lift up. Push your hips back on that squat. And we're just getting started, so if these need to be a little shallower, that is totally fine. Ooh, this feels good to get a little stretch there. I'm taking up to a calf raise at the top of that squat. Down and up, lift up onto the toes, keep going, eight more. Eight, see if you can get a little bit deeper. Four more, please, four, three, last two. Hold this next one down, hold it down. All right, step your right foot back. Turn the toes to face me, lean forward into this. Bring it in, don't stand tall, just step in, switch sides. So we're gonna be taking this into a world's greatest stretch here in a second, guys. Bring it in, switch again. Hands are off the floor, but I'm really leaning into that front leg, pressing that back hip down. Step it in and switch. Now you can stay here with hands lifted, or on this next one, switch your legs, bring your hands down to the floor. And if you do that, feel free to drop that back knee down. The goal here is to get a stretch in that front hip, and also that back leg hip flexor. Switch your legs. Step one foot back, switch it up. Good. Feels good, spread the hands. Step that foot back, let's take your left foot forward one more time, and this time, let's open up. A little bit of rotation. Bring that hand down and switch. Open up. Good. Step back to your plank, guys. Here's what we're going to do. You stay there. See if you can come to hands and toes for me. We're going to crouch back, okay? So think of kind of like an elevated child's pose. You're going to crouch back, bend your knees, push back through your hands, and then come back to that plank. Try that again for me. Crouch back. Now, if on your toes doesn't work, that is fine. Bring your knees down. Shift back to child's pose. You'll want to point your toes back and then come forward again to that kneeling plank. 
shift back, come forward. Couple more here, shift back, come forward. One more time, good. Straighten out to your plank, hold that plank for me. Wherever you're at, hands and toes, hands and knees. Flat back, hold the shoulder blades into the spine a little bit. All right, we're gonna walk hands to feet, feet to hands. Come on up to standing. One more move in a warm up that's gonna bring our heart rate up a little bit. Just stand a little bit off to the side. You've got three squats here. Three, two, one. One side lunge, right foot steps out. Then we come together again. Three squats, under chair squats. So my feet are more parallel to each other. Step it off. Good. Three, three, two, one. Big step off to the side. Remember on that side lunge, we turn the toes out a little bit and we pitch forward. Right? Shoulders come forward a little bit. Chest still stays pretty lifted. Three, two, one. Big side lunge. One more time. Three, two, big side lunge. Hold it. Hold that side lunge. Great stretch for that inner thigh here. Good. Reach up and over. All right. Here's what we're doing, guys. You're going to step your left leg over. Meet the right. And guess what? Three squats here. Two, one. We're stepping off to the left. Side lunge. Again. Three, two, one. It's okay if you're moving at a different pace. I wouldn't go faster than where I'm at, but if you're moving not quite as fast today, that's okay. All right, you've got the pattern. Three and one. Step it off the side. One more time, please. Three. Two, we're holding it. Big step, hold it. Ah, oh, so good. <laughs> this feels great. Reach up and over. Nice. Step it together. Awesome. Okay, so lower body should feel nice and warm. Heart rate should be lifted a little bit. And we're ready to go for our first round. So grab that heavy set of weights that you got. Alright, deadlifts are starting off soft, okay? Double leg deadlifts, hands are close, we pitch forward, hinge at the hips, stand and squeeze. Hinge, stand and squeeze. So for the most, most part today guys, we've got two sets of work. Weight is in the heels here, knees stay over your ankles. Open up that chest by drawing the shoulder blades into the spine. If you were here on Tuesday, we did some scapular push-ups that really emphasize that shoulder blade retraction, pulling it in, and protraction, sending them away. Good. Again, remember for your deadlifts, you want your hands to be close to you. If you can trace your legs carefully without bonking them up, that's ideal, because look what happens when I let them drift away. See how my upper back rounds a lot? And that puts a lot of pressure actually in my lower back too. I don't want to do that. Hinge, up, one more time. Nice, okay, you can choose to keep one or both of your weights. We're holding them up high, we're sinking down into a squat, and we're stepping side to side, ready? Elbows are in, step side to side, big steps. Pull yourself over. So there's up work and effort in holding the squats, but there's also some effort that you are providing, like dragging that foot over. Think about engaging that inner thigh. Good. Eight, seven, we're taking it to the mat next, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one, nice. Take one weight with you. One weight with you. We are gonna try a single leg hip bridge here. If single leg isn't for you, do double. We're gonna work the right leg first, so I want you to load that weight on your right hip as best as possible, okay? Just off centered a bit. Both feet are down, left heel is lifted. I'm gonna let you keep that left foot there as a kickstand. Just a little bit of support. Drive up through your right heel. Lift, hold, 
lower. Again, lift. Now, if you can take that left foot off the floor without losing any range of motion, go ahead. But if you need it there just for a little bit of support, that's fine. Lift up, hold, down, lift, hold. Really squeeze that right side. Left side shouldn't be feeling this really very much. Lift, hold, lower. Again, lift. Good. Two more. One more, let's hold it. Lift that left foot off the ground now. Hold that leg up. Hang in there. Three, two, switch your sides. Rest, switch that weight over. Lift the right heel. Ready, set, here we go. Drive up through that left heel now. Just hold that weight off center as best you can. Lift, squeeze. Target that left glute. Working to get hips in line with your knees. Full range of motion, then kiss the mat. Good, good. Two more guys, here we go. Lift, one more, hold it, hold it. Right leg comes up just for a few seconds. You got it, drive through that left heel. Three, two, and one, good. Sit it on up. All right, glutes should feel a bit on. <laughs> We're back to those deadlifts. One more time, we ready? Arms are close, abs are drawn in. Set. Here we go, let's hinge. Good. Woo. Hitting that posterior chain here. Back of the hips, back of the thighs, your hamstrings. Even that upper back. You got it, got it. We're coming forward until we feel a little stretch in those hamstrings. You don't have to touch the floor, usually about mid-shin is a good range. It's depending on your flexibility. Three, last two, last one. Nice job, guys. All right, one or both weights, squatting side step. Hold it up high. Feet underneath your hips, sit down into that squat, ready? Big step, step together, step together. Try to keep your feet parallel and toes pointed forward, right? Typically when we step out to the side, what I see a lot is we turn our toes in that direction, opening up that hip, but then it totally changes where the effort is placed. It puts it in the hip flexor. And for as many times as I told you guys, we all know our hip flexors are usually quite tight. They don't need a ton of attention. Four more, four, three, good, last two, last one. Yes, good, all right, let's take it to the mat. Single leg hip bridges, and then we'll switch over to upper body. So good? Weight is over to the right side, offset it there. Let's see this time if you can do these with that left foot off, no kickstand. Ready? Set, here we go, drive up, right heel, take it down. Have a little pause for me. Up, hold, down slow. So it's a one, one, two count. One lift up, one hold, two counts down. Good. Really making sure we've got that hip up as high as we can. Lift. Make sure your heel is under your knee too. Sometimes that heel gets placed a little too far forward, and then we're not able to push down very firmly into it. You'll have better range of motion, better work and performance if that heel is under your knee. Hold this one, stay there, stay there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. <laughs> All right, ready? Left heel down, right leg is totally at the floor if we can. Ready, set, here we go. It's amazing, even having that kickstand, I didn't think I was putting that much 
effort into that kickstand, but taking it completely off the floor whew, opens my eyes and tells me maybe I was relying on it more than I thought. Whew, I really feel this. How about you guys? You can do it. Anything worth it in life is worth fighting for. You got this. Come on. Three. Two. One more. We're holding. We're holding. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Woo. All right. Lower body circuit one is done. We are going to shift over to upper body. I need you to have at least one of your heavy weights. We're going to be doing some front raises and then some narrow push-ups with some side plank. So have your mat out for your knees if you need it, okay? If you're going to do your push-ups on your toes, you don't need your mat, all right? But if you're doing them on your knees, have them out and have it kind of set up like I have it so you're able to face the camera. Now, we're doing a front raise, a squeeze grip front raise, one of my favorites. You're going to hold it in the side. You're going to crush it, press it on it. Arms are pretty straight. Here we go. You've got 10. Now, you can do this with two mediums, and you will press them together, palms facing in. All right? Otherwise, you've got one weight. Good. One more, please. That may have been 11. That's all right. One more for good measure. Set it down. Here's what we've got, guys. It'll be 10 total push-ups, okay? I need a narrow push-up, hands under your shoulders, side step plank, left hand, left foot, right hand, right foot. Then we'll hit a push-up again, all right? You can do the push-up on your knees, and you can plank walk it on your knees or on your toes, all right? It's up to you, or you can do it all on your toes, all on your knees, whatever. Ten total push-ups, ready, hands under the shoulders, elbows in tight, go, one push-up, Step off to the side. One, two. Push up. Step to the other side. Push up. Step. Push up. And step. Here we go for five. Six. You got it, team. Seven. Eight. Two more. One more. Step off to that side. And quick rest. Good job. Woo! We're going through that one more time. One more time. Squeeze front raise. Ready? Press on that weight. Chest lifted. Here we go. Do you notice when you press on that weight how your core engages a bit more too? It should. It's like a standing plank here. Just the chest height. Three more. Three. Two. One more. There we go. Set it down. All right. One more time through this push-up drill. Okay, guys? We got this. Ten more. Then we go back to lower. Here we go. Hands under the shoulders. Fingertips spread. Three. Two. One. Here we go. One push-up. Side step. Do your best to do hand and foot together. Good. Chest to elbow height. Five more, team. Five more. You've got that. Core is on. Glutes are on. Three. Two. One more push up. Finish with that side step, please. Rest. Good. Woo. Heart rate should be up again. <laughs> All right. Round two on lower body is coming. Grab a drink. <sighs> How we doing, guys? Everyone hanging in there? Full water bottle. All right, guys. So we need one weight for this next effort. Okay. Two sets through on each leg. So this is kind of the meat and potatoes of the workout. All right, because we technically have four total sets of this round. We'll just be targeting different sides. So this first move is a squat.
squat, but we're going to offset it by giving that weight to our right hand. One or both of them. I've got one of my weights. It's up to you if you want one or both, okay? If you've got medium weights, maybe you've got two mediums in that hand if you can hold that, okay? Crisscross them. Feet are just outside the hips. These are standard squats. This side is going to be targeted more, not just the leg, but the core, okay? Don't let that shoulder drop. Drive up evenly through your feet. Ready? You've got 10. Here we go. 10. Drive up. Just load that weight up on your shoulder or hold it in close. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. One more. Still focusing on that right leg. It's going to stay in front, okay? Hold your weight end to end. Step your left foot back. Step your left foot back, isometric lunge. All right, we're gonna drop that left knee down with a wood chop. It's gonna be more of a pressing wood chop. So we're gonna come down to that left hip, press up over the right shoulder. Down to the left hip, press up. So we're turning towards our right knee. Our right heel is being pressed firmly into the floor. Good. Five. Six, seven, you've got it guys, eight, two more, one more, good, lose the weight, get the mat out, you're going to go down on your left elbow, left elbow for a side plank, left knee can be down or you can be straight legs, alrighty, we are lifting that right leg, stack the shoulders, stack the hips, here we go. Lift, hold, lower down. Here's that one, one, two count again. Have that little bit of hold. Toes point at me. Remember what I said earlier about our side step squats? When we work our outer hip, a lot of times what happens if we wanna, is we want to turn those toes up. All right? We've got to keep them pointing forward. It's going to decrease the range of motion a little bit. I'll show you that again. This is how high I can lift my leg if I turn my toes up. Woo! This is how high I can lift it if I turn my toes to the camera. Any questions? <laughs> you guys remember that commercial? This is your brain. <laughs> this is your brain on drugs. <sighs> or was that just an Ohio thing? Two more. Lift. Hold. Woo! One more time. Yes. Good. All right. Sit it back. Did both of your legs feel that? It should have. That bottom hip was still working, even though it wasn't moving. Come on back up. Get that weight out. Right side again. Second and last side on this side. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ten. Good, good. Good. Six. Seven, drive, chest up, eight, nine, one more. Excellent, right foot goes in front, left foot back. Isometric lunge, hold it. Bend those elbows, shoulders set over hips, lean back a bit. Bring it down to your right hip, right, left hip, sorry, press up over your right. Left hip, right shoulder. You should be turning towards your front knee. Good. Big exhale, five, keep those shoulders back, six, seven, and keep your legs strong, eight, nine, one more. Yes, good, set it down. Let's finish up this first half, come back to that side plank. All right, guys, let's try both legs straight. Can you try it with me? If you've got to bend that bottom knee sometime through this set, that's fine. Try both legs straight, lift those hips, toes forward. Ready? The hold. One, one, down slow. Up, hold, down. Good. Try not to let those hips drop. So if you're on a straight leg play with me, and you notice that bottom hip starts dropping, see if you can correct it in the next rep. And if you can't, bend that bottom knee. I was telling Lil the other day, she's been dying to lift weights <laughs> with me. But obviously she's 
seven. Her form isn't quite there. And I told her, you know, we've got three, three big rules when it comes to lifting. One more here, guys. One more. I won't let it get away from me. Good. Rest. Sit back. Rule number one. Range of motion. Full range of motion. Rule number two. Good form. Rule number three. Good control. Right? And if any of those waver, then we've got to decrease weight, decrease intensity, whatever it is. And don't be ashamed of that, right? That's all for your safety and to make sure we're the most efficient that we can be and effective that we can be. Not wasting our time, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring it to one weight up at the left side now. We're switching sides. Same three moves, two more times through. Here we go, 10. The music just went out. That's all right. Three. Good. Drive up through the heels. Five. Six. Here's seven. Eight. Two to go. One more. Awesome. We're stepping that left foot forward now, guys. Isometric lunge hold. Drop down. Right hip. Left shoulder. Go. Ten. See how close you can get that right knee to the floor. Three. Four. Good. Five. Nice rotation towards that front knee. Six. Woo. <laughs> Seven. Are you ahead of me now? That's okay. You got ten of them. Two more. Two. One more. Awesome. We're taking it down to the mat. This time we're on your right side. Bottom leg down or up. You choose. Top leg is lifted. Here we go. Up. Hold. Lower. Down. Again. You can even put your hand on that side. Feel that side engage. Sometimes that's helpful to have that kind of connection there, to feel your muscles literally engage and tighten. Good, good. Six, seven, three to go, three, two, one more. Good job, team. Rest. Let's finish this leg set. Let's finish it. Whew, shake it out. Grab your weight. Left side loaded. Last 10 squats. Go. 10. 9. 8. Good. Keep your abs drawn in on squats. They give us the ability to put good force and power into the floor. Here's 4. 3. Two, last one. Hit those lunges. Left foot in front. Lower down. Here we go. I love isometric moves because, yeah, they're challenging for sure. But they're also kind of kind on the joints, right? When we just hold this position and not have that continuous bending and straightening. That has its place. Obviously, that's very good for us too. But sometimes when our joints are a little cranky, these isometrics can be a nice substitute or a nice solution, I guess. Two more. One more. Woo! All right. Stand it up. Bring it to the mat. Right side. Your challenge again. Both legs straight. Elbow under shoulder. Shoulder stack. Hip stack. Three, two, one. Here we go. Lift. Hold. Lower down. Again. Good. Three. Four. Nice. Good job. Toes forward. Seven. Three more. Woo. Last two. Last two. Last one, team. Lift, hold, and lower. Excellent job. Okay. We've got one more round for upper body gain. You need just your mat. I'm gonna go fix this music for a quick second. Grab some water. All right, there we go. All right guys, so we got push-ups. And we've got a climbing beast. Alrighty, so push-ups will be happening. 
Again, on knees or toes, regular push-ups. All right, I'm going to the side so you can see that climbing beast. Ten total, we just alternate between the move, two moves. So one push-up, walk the knees forward and back. One push-up, forward and back. You're only bringing those knees in underneath your hips, okay? No closer and keep them close to the floor. Ten. Ready, set, go. Push up, walk it in, in, back, back. Now, if you want to do that push up on your knees, that's fine. One push up, then you can pop up on your toes to walk it in. Or you can do one push up and then just lift your knees and lower. Yeah, that's a good option too. Just come to that full plank. I think that was six. <laughs> you have ten total. Seven. Eight. Last two, guys. Good. One more, one more. Woo! All right. Rest. Grab your weights. Yes, your heavies. Stay kneeling. Okay, palms are up. We've got to reach forward. We're going to do 10 total because we've got these heavy weights. Ready? Out and in. Now, if that one heavy weight in that hand still isn't working, keep going. You're going to do one together. And you're still going to do 10 total. Out and in. But you're holding underneath it. Yes? Maybe one more. There we go. Set it down. Good job, guys. All right, team. One more time through this, we'll finish the workout. We're back to the push-ups and that climbing beast. I'm gonna show you a little souped up option here in a second. Ready, find your push-up position. Go, one push-up, in, in, and out, out. If you're walking them right now, try to leave the other leg, if you can. Here's that souped up option. Are you ready? All right, we're gonna do one push-up. You're gonna hop in, land, bam, hop back, land. So you have a little bit of a pause. Hop in, boom, boom. Five more, five. You choose. There's lots of awesome options out there. Four more, guys. Drive down into the floor. You gotta think about pushing down to lift up. Two more. Woo! One more, one more. Yes, good. Hop back. Rest. Woo! All right. We're back to that serve up. One or both of your weights. Ten total reps. So if you've got both, you got five each arm. Ready? Squeeze the glutes. Imagine you're in that hip bridge again. Elbows at 90. Go. If you're alternating with me, there's going to be some temptation to rotate. Don't do that. Shoulders are square. Reach out and pull back. Squeeze that shoulder blade into your spine. Two more. Woo, one more. Oh, good job. Wow. Good job, team. Woo, it's hot in here. Take those arms behind. The humidity has kicked in. All right, go ahead and stand that up. Take a foot back for your quad stretch. If this balancing one doesn't quite fit, then take that foot back and hinge. Knees point down. Take that same leg, the one in your hand or the one that's back, and cross it behind, reach over. Switch sides. All right, so we've been talking a little bit about it this week, and now I am excited to let you all know that next Friday, the 29th, we will be able to open our doors. It will look quite different, so I encourage you to check out the Fit Me Wellness website on what our phase three opening procedures will be. We will be doing several outdoor classes throughout the week. Um, we will also be booking 15 minute time slots for a one-on-one -on -one phase three training session. So the details about that are all online. You can also set up a time and book with me. Um, just go ahead and message me later on today. Um, feel free to do that, or you can email me 
at Tracy at bitmewellness.com. Um, if you'd like to work one-on-one -on -one with me, I would love to see it. Um, so yeah, check that out. We don't have the group exercise schedule posted just yet. It will look different than our regularly scheduled classes. Before we close, it will look different than this live schedule, but we will still be reaching out to you and we will still be posting stuff, some of the content that we've already done on Facebook and on YouTube if you're not able to make the in-person classes. So go ahead and check out the page and if you have questions, again, Tracy at fitmewellness.com, you can email me or if I'm friends with you on Facebook, go ahead and message me and I will answer your questions for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the lower body workout today. Thanks so much for joining me and for getting up with me this morning. And I will see some of you tomorrow for Push Me Live um, at 8. And we will be again focusing on upper body. So you'll be set. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you very much. Bye.